magnetic field can be produced by a magnet or an electric current. The field produced by a magnet goes into the south, out of the north. That is the outside of the magnet. But because we can never separate south, north and south, that means the field lines they are closed loops. So they actually go through the inside of the magnet and they go like this. So magnetic field lines form closed loops. As for the magnetic field produced by a current, we can use this right hand rule. If we use our thumb to follow the current, the curved four fingers will give us the direction of the magnetic field. So the thumb is in the front for the current. Behind the current, the four fingers go to the left. So inside this current loop, the magnetic field lines will go to the left and the field lines will be like this which means that the field lines will look just like the field lines produced by a magnet. So an uh, electric current loop is uh, what we call a magnetic dipole, just like a magnet. If I have a long straight current that goes into the paper, I can use the thumb to follow the current, and then my curve, the four fingers, will go in a clockwise direction. So the magnetic field lines produced by this long straight current would be circles and that means the magnetic field the direction is a clockwise tangent to the circle and the, over here will be clockwise tangent to the circle because the electric current can produce magnetic field that means that a current in a magnetic field can experience a magnetic force to find that magnetic force we can use the I L cross B where the L is the length of the current so this is the length of the current wire that is inside the magnetic field. And length usually doesn't have a direction, but uh, right now this length takes on the direction of the current. And this cross product means uh, the magnetic force can be found using ILB times sine the angle between L and B. Because a current is flowing charges, that means uh, if we have a moving charge inside a magnetic field, there will be a magnetic force acting on it as well. And to find that force, we use QV cross B, which is QVB times sine, the angle between velocity and the magnetic field. Because the sine 0 degrees or 180 is 0, that means if the angle between L and B or the angle between V and B is 0 degrees or 180, that means uh, the magnetic force uh, on the current or the moving charge would be zero. If the magnetic force is not zero, then we can use the right-hand rule to do the crossing to figure out the direction of the magnetic force. We would use the straight four fingers to do the crossing, and then the thumb gives us the direction of the magnetic force. For example, if I have a straight current going that way inside this magnetic field, the magnetic field goes to the right, then I can start my four fingers in the direction of L, which is the direction of the current, and then cross and bend my four fingers to B, and the direction of my thumb will be the direction of the force. So the magnetic force goes into the paper. And we would do the same cross product for V cross B, but if we have a negative charge, then we all need to remember to flip the thumb direction to get the magnetic force. Because we do this cross product, when we bend our four fingers, our four fingers are always perpendicular to the thumb. So the magnetic force is always going to be perpendicular to L, perpendicular to B, and perpendicular to the velocity. And this means for a moving charge inside a magnetic field because the velocity is always going to be tangent to the path. So that means the magnetic force is always perpendicular to the tangent direction. So this magnetic force can only provide the radial or centripetal acceleration, which means this centripetal acceleration can only change the direction of the particle. It cannot change the speed of the particle. This magnetic force can never do work, can never change the speed of the particle. So if we want to accelerate or decelerate a charged particle, we have to use the electric force.